Then the white line would start is the mono rail. So we will start from here, the mono rail, where the trunk is completely with the tall towers. So all tall towers, which is all residential apartments, where the foreigners on the island, we can buy the property on least period for 99 years. So only this area where we can completely the houses, the apartments, we can buy it on these. So the train will start, it will take a stop at the tower station here. At the tower station here. Then secondly, it will be continuing. Continuing to this area where they are designing the mall. <laughs> so this side, the train again, it will stop. The second stop, the doors will not open, but they will stop because they are doing the construction for the mall and the five-star property connected to the mall area. Then we start with the leave area. Like you can see the white line which is going in middle area. So there is a leave where the leave water gap we have. And after completing the leave, the white line is just going on sideways where there is this round is the Atlantis Hotel. So they have a water gap. After completing the tree, there is a circle covering. So there is a water gap in between. So while coming back, we will come from the underwater tunnel. So while going, we will go from the bridge like white one, which is towards the Atlantis. So once we get down at the station, you can take a picture near to the water park. Like you get the view for the water park there. So we can take pictures and then we come towards the bus parking. Okay, so this will be the design. If anyone wants to go to the toilet, it's just to the back side.
the five star property and the second hotel of the Dubai ruler. The first one is the Burj Al Arab, which we will pass on. So left hand side there is mostly the five star property here, where they have Pina Salam, they have uh, the Sima Hotel by Jumeirah. And we'll also pass the main entrance of Burj Al Arab. Burj Al Arab, which is one of the luxurious property, it's known as seven star of the world because they have more luxurious facility. Like on the left hand side, we'll just pass the main entrance where there is a double security check. Only if we have a booking, we are allowed to enter from. So left hand side, the main entrance of Burj Al Arab Hotel. Burj Al Arab, which is the first uh, seven star hotel and it's the hotel on top of the sea after 280 meter from land onwards. So there is 280 meter bridge going towards the hotel and only the way by road to go towards the hotel. At the hotel they have two floors underwater, which is one of the floor they have the underwater restaurant. Inside the hotel, it is of 27th floor, every floor duplex. So every room inside is all suites where every room in there are three duplex. And they give one of the luxurious facility because the room, once you are like uh, have a stay there, you will get the booking and you will show the confirmation at the entrance to the security. You will go towards the bridge, enter to the main lobby the main lobby at the entrance where they also use the gold to design the main lobby on the sideways where they have designed like a shell, also gold plating. Then the private butlers, they meet you at the entrance and take you to your room with the iPad. Then the iPad you do your check-in because every floor they have their own reception. So you directly take your iPad and you go to your room. You do the check-in by yourself and the iPad remains with you, which is completely the room controller. So iPad is the room controller and you get the butler for 24 hours service for you. So it's like one of the luxurious facility. As well, like every room, they have used something on the other with a gold-plated, either the gold-plated shower, they have gold-plated or bed coatings, they have gold-plated frames inside, so something on the other with a gold. The only option, like we, if we book any of the restaurant, we can go to the restaurant, have a view to the lobby area, and also they have designed a private uh, pool.